this TechX39 today we're showing you how to mount, unmount and eject all your external storage devices. Uh, the first command we're using is called lsplk that is for list block it'll list all the partition tables and partitions. Uh, I'll just plug in my USB and uh, run this command again to see what is the difference. As you can see, oh, hold on, as you can see STB has been located. SDA is your internal hard drive. SD, uh, anything apart from the letter A in, uh, when it comes under SD is basically an external storage device. Uh, you can also see after you run lsblk-f that SDA does not have a UUID that means that is not a partition. SDA1 and SDA2 are partitions. So those are mountable. On the other hand, SDA is not mountable. Uh, but uh, in case of this external storage device, SDB is mountable as it has an UUID. Uh, in some cases, th this means it lacks a partition table. The uh, the main uh, directory is itself a location which is accessible, so which can be mounted. <sighs> so you can mount SDB directly. The second command we're going to use is mkdir. So we just make a directory and slash mount. That's slash mnt. That's uh, the way Linux goes. That every external storage device has to be mounted uh, in slash mount. So sudo mkdir mnt and we'll give the folder a name. mkdir stands for make directory, so we'll call it flash. My password. And now you can go to cd mnt and list everything there. That's flash. So our folder is there. You can still go to flash and ls there, so that you can see that's empty. We'll go back. Now the third command we're using is mount. Now there there are actually many ways to mount a uh, device. We'll uh, cover two here first one is called uh, you know directly mounting I don't know it's not called anything actually um, so we just give the location all your partitions are actually uh, the, the reference to the uh, file system is stored in dev so we go dev and the uh, uh, partition name so that will be stb here you can see that's here stb and the mount location where we mounted that's mnt and we gave it flash right my password and let's go to this and we'll go back to flash and ls there so you can see that external USB files folder has been uh, identified under flash so uh, the STB has been actually mounted the third command or rather the fourth command we're using is umount for unmounting now when you're actually into the uh, when you're accessing the USB or an external storage device uh, it can't be mounted uh, unmounted that's because it is busy so we just try doing that mnt and then uh, folder name was flash it says target busy yeah so what we'll do is we'll go back in this location and uh, do this again it has been whenever you uh, do not get anything that means that's uh, that, that job has been done successfully and the other way to mount it is going sudo mount this and instead of giving this, what you can do is give the UUID. That's how the uh, file system will automatically locate it. So you can see the UUID here is 48B4. Let's see, 8472. Hit enter. Uh, we can go back to flash. So you can see that this is still there. Go back unmounted you can see that it has been unmounted you can go to that back location back again and then run a list uh, nothing's there so it's it has been unmounted successfully now we have to eject this drive uh, so that uh, there's no loss of data so we'll go sudo eject and uh, what we we'll do is give the name and dev um, so that'll be stb now I you can see that uh, in on this terminal lsblkf uh, returns SDB that means that it is still detectable when we run this you can see that that location is gone so that means uh, now uh, your USB has been uh, y you can remove it safely so you can just remove it and that was your tutorial thank you